Hi guys, uh, Andy here from uh, Gas Up UK and today we are at the AD Training Academy. I'm just going to swing this round to the technical guru, Colin. Hi Cobb, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right, okay. Today we are going to just going to go on to the uh, MagnaClean Professional 2 uh, filter and we're going to show you how to service this properly. So this is the thing, Cobb. We want to make sure that when the engineer is going in the house, he's um, looking at this and cleaning it out properly and we want to just go through some steps so how would you service one of these filters right. what's the steps what would we do excellent yeah the first step obviously is to um, get hold of our key yeah so we can isolate the valve first thing is to get the key onto the quarter turn and valves yeah and, and isolate yeah get those off okay let's get the water under control now if I just remember if we go to these valves you can actually see there's an off logo on it so make sure they're across the pipe work uh, as normal and then yeah. that locks it off yeah. and you will feel a definite stop nice and easy quarter turn action okay yeah okay once we've got the quarter turn action done we're then looking to take the pressure off the filter with nice. an air vent key into the top here nice bleak okay, I think there. i'll tell you it looks good I guess that's bleak, oh, eh? if it's a treat we just took the pressure off there yeah so we get a bit of water coming out just to get the pressure out yeah and then we shut that back off yeah okay then what we're looking to do then is to grab a uh, bucket or a small bowl and we basically want to empty the, the chamber of water with yep. our key again. Yep. Underneath we've got a drain off facility. Okay. So Now I know I asked you this off camera but in the event that we not can't find this we could use some adjustable spanner or something to yep. slightly undo it. Just undo it, yeah exactly. Yeah. It does need to be over tightened, yeah. Just something like that. We don't want to... Um, not use a pair of grips on it, we don't want it all scratched up, let's no. use an adjustable spanner open ender okay. for the right yeah. size, yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, just undo, gently hold your bowl underneath the filter, and you can see there, we're, we're under control. Yeah. With your air vent key, undo the air vent, and allow a little bit of air into the filter. And that's just going to push it down, down the chamber. Down exactly, yeah, because yeah. we're going to take the filter off for our, for our service. And instantly you can start to see now the water's coming out. Okay. And once you've got that running, just pinch that up and I'm not, if I undo the lid a little bit, then we get a little bit more in a bit quicker. Now in the event, and I know this is not going to happen because these fittings are now a first pass, but in the event that one of these was to pass, this would carry on going, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, but I know that's not going to happen. That's no, not going to happen, yeah. If we've got an issue, the first thing we're going to notice is when we were um, releasing the pressure there, we would have probably found that would have been squirting out. Um, you could tell that something wasn't quite right there. Yeah. And obviously now when we did the drain off there, you would have found water would have been uh, okay. trying to replace. So if you've got an excessive amount of water coming out of here, we don't be doing these bolts, no. or we don't take this off. We, we need to have a look what's going on. Make yeah. sure that the valve is firmly shut. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so. We've now drained the vessel. We're now looking to retract the filter. Um, one of the most important things to do is on the back here we've got a trigger. Mm -hmm. And on the back there is a little red wheel. And we can see that at the moment it, it is round right against the chamber. Yep. We, we need to wind that away. So that and you should be able to do this with your fingers all the time. Yeah, yeah. fingers, yep. Yeah. And you can see now we've got movement on the trigger. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And with that now we can then pull the trigger in. And you can hear a little click there. Yeah. And it pulls off, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice and easy. And what we're looking to do then is obviously take the filter into a bucket and get it outside. Yeah. So you're um, not doing it underneath the board no, and black solution. No, we haven't got away. So the beauty of, of retracting the filter in this way also, if we're, we're uh, stuck for height, yeah. um, boilers above the filter, we can't get the top up, we can retract mm -hmm. and carry out the full service. Because okay. it's important we get the service right. Now, with the service, we want to get and have a look, see what's going on. Now hopefully, when we undo the top. Now just before you pull that out, I just want to just touch on something here because a lot of the guys think that when these come out, these filters, if it looks like I refer to it as a kebab stick and it's full of black sludge, they're doing a great job and these filters are holding them around and doing what they should be doing. Well that is the case, but firstly to mention, best practice, when you first do your systems and you're cleaning them and flushing them, with the magna cleanse or whether you're doing it however you're doing it when colin pulls this out now this is how it should look at every 12 month service so if you have a look at this now this demonstrates 
what it should look like. You may get a bit of black sludge on there, but it's certainly not going to be anything like I've seen on the internet before where people are saying, look how good these are. Yeah, they are good. They are catching the magnetite and all the rubbish, but this is how it should look. And that means you've cleaned the system correctly in the first place. Um, so this is, this is, sorry Colin, yeah, I just wanted to put that point across yeah. there. So yeah, okay mate, yeah. This is a very good point, because obviously um, any suspended magnetite has now been captured. So if there is a little bit on there, the beauty of, um, of taking a filter apart as we're doing now, we can get the filter back to 100% capture rate, okay. which, is, which is critical. Yeah. Um, so obviously as soon as we pull the magnet from the sheath, Yep. Obviously, if there was any magnetite on the sheath here, that's now going to become suspended. So this is why we're doing it outside. We're not got any worries. We can now swill off the sheath, making it uh, nice and clean. I'll just grab a bit of a cloth here. Okay. Warm just, water, cold water, anything? Just, and just swill it off. Because the magnet's not inside now, we can soon swill that off. Yeah, yeah. And you can see now we're nice and clean, mm -hmm. um, which is back to 100%. Now, in the top and the bottom, of the sheath there, we've got a non-metallic capture facility. Yep. So again, we wanna just check that's nice and clear, no particles have built up. And the bottom here, just twist back. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. And then yeah. um, we can just swill that off, make sure there's, yeah. um, you know, maybe a little bit of lime scale or a little bit of PTF or, you know, non-metallic particles. Okay, uh, any flux or anything like that? So you wanna make sure that's completely... Yeah, we yeah. wanna make sure, and just yeah. swill that off again. Yeah. So. The beauty of it is we can expect that, that's lovely. We now can get hold of the filter itself and just visually in check, check inside and maybe just swill that off inside um, and just check round. Yep. Um, and we're ready okay, to Okay, so we're giving it a back to the original box as it were clean, so it's yeah. gonna go back in the right state that it should do. Um, and then put it all back together and screw yeah. it up as Colin's doing here now. Nice and easy. And um, The trigger, do not forget the trigger. Sure. Do not push. <laughs> do not push the filter on without your trigger. Okay. Okay. So, before we do that, you will also find we also have what we call an alignment tool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the alignment tool is designed to go onto the brass bodies there. Mm -hmm. This is quite important because obviously when the filter is going on, we don't want any resistance there. That's nice and easy. We not we know now that the filter has neither dropped or Okay, so the point where it may have dropped if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we don't, you know, it's got to be in line, so when we push our filter back on, we've got no um, chance of scagging any fittings or causing yeah. a problem there. So we don't want any resistance, we need to slip on and off, so the filter's going to go on nicely. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Also, while we've got there, this alignment tool comes uh, with the filter, and when it comes with the filter, you'll probably find also, you, you will have a, uh, this tape here. Interesting, that's not just a decorative tape in the box, is it? No, no, <laughs> this, is so easy and so handy to have. This is just wrapped round here when it comes out of the box. Okay. Um, this gap here is 150 mil. Guess what? That's the 150 mil we need to cut out of our pipe work for, for when we're installing our filter. Okay, so, these, so, so this in effect color is a template, isn't it? Yes. For our pipe work. So if we take this out, guys, and we stick it onto the pipe, this is gonna tell us 150 mil in the absence of no tape measure. So when we cut it, we know that this has done exactly what this job is going to do here. Yeah. So that's brilliant. So once we've got the 150 mil cut out of our pipe work, the beauty of it is then our slip collar facility, which we've got on the filter here, comes into its own, where we can just drop the nut and olive down onto the pipe work, and valve A, which is our slip collar, we can ease up onto the pipe mm -hmm. and pull back down, knowing that we're going to be absolutely bang on with the pipe work. And what kind of tolerance is there on, on, on A? Is it like 10 or 15 mil? Yeah, 10 or 15, about 15 mil, so we've got we don't want to be straining underneath the board or into the, uh, into the pipe going into the floor, so we know exactly that it's going to be nice and easy. So the fact that you've got this slip, we can slip up for about 10 or 15 yes. yeah. Yeah. So, okay. um, and away you go. And then obviously with the alignment tool on, we can then tighten our nuts and eyelids on yeah. and ready to put our filter back on. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's just get the filter back up. So obviously with the filter now, we just put back onto the brass bodies there, yeah. brace, yeah, firmly so push home. Firmly push it home, yeah. Okay, and just behind it, remember just to wind the wheel out. Okay. So it's back against the canister. Yeah. We've now locked the trigger. Yeah, so that's not going to go anywhere. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay, and then basically it's just open the other thing. Oh, the valves, yeah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to re refit, we'll put the uh, drain off back into the bottom. Yeah, yeah. We'll quickly do that. 
Yeah. Again with the key available. So I mean, really, it's a, it's a quick 10 or 15 minute job to service these filters because sometimes I know that from my own experience, you've been to them and engineers before have not even bothered to no. emptying them out, cleaning them because they think it's too much of a drama. And really, it's 10 or 15 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And um, the beauty of it is we're, we're putting it back to its 100% capture rate. Okay. Now, just quickly, while we're talking about um, you know uh, servicing and you know making things good and whether, what kind of warranty are we talking about on these ones? 10 year warranty. Okay. Uh, which is fantastic. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so you, you've got peace of mind for 10 years that that's going to do the job and you know it's a good sound investment, it's protecting the boiler and the system, isn't it? Exactly, and a service once a year, yeah. customer's going to be chuffed to bits. Fantastic. Cheers, colleague. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.